Okay, we have a new cylinder, but it came with a three quarter inch bore, so we bored it out to one inch. And then on the back, along with being narrow, which would have worked, and we could have just made shims for it. But again, it was three quarter inch, and that was not heavy enough. So we had to make this other piece that has a one inch hole in it, just rough drilled, nothing critical that way. And then we're gonna weld it on. But the whole thing that this is about is, when we weld it on, you run your cylinder out to the far end first so that you can have the piston uh, not getting burned up, your piston seals. You also pull the plug out so that it doesn't build pressure when it gets hot, um, which we didn't, we just tacked it so far, so we're still fine with that. Yeah, See, I had it resting on the floor, so I didn't want it to close up since I had the end sitting on the floor to tack that on there. Ah. Okay, okay. Anyway, you want to pull that out to make sure you're not building. But the big thing that this is about, even though this cylinder here has a lock ring in the front, it can be taken apart. This was one where they welded the back, machined for the front, put it together in pieces. You will find cylinders that are welded together. The head is welded in, and they put the rod in, the piston, everything in here, and then the other end's welded, and you think it's not repairable. They are repairable. You just have to, when you cut the back off, make sure you assemble everything down to the far end before you weld it back together. Or if you're making one to begin with, and the cylinder, because you don't want anybody messing with it, or you need that other one half of 1% strength, if it's all gonna be welded, build all of your ceiling components, move them down to one end, weld it on the other end, and then you can put it together. You don't have to have a bolted on head, an O-ring, I mean a snap ring, you need O-rings. But you don't need to have it where it can be disassembled if it's not disassemblable. You can design them and you'll see them. Um, I've rebuilt lots of cylinders that were non-rebuildable. They're considered non-rebuildable, but hydraulic shops rebuild them all the time. 